Hi everyone, we have already discussed deterministic finite totometer and non-deterministic finite totometer. In the video of non-deterministic finite totometer, I have said NFA is equal to DFA. That is, where the scientist has discovered NFA, that is non-deterministic finite totometer, and made the automata flexible, the machine flexible, but the result when comes it is equivalent to what deterministic finite automata that is no further modification come in the power power means what ability or computability what nfa can do can also be done by what dfa so with an example i am showing that the nfa and dfa is equivalent so here i have drawn a transition diagram uh, sorry transition table so from this transition table we are drawing the transition diagram i have already shown you how to draw a transition diagram from a transition table in my previous video so first we start with what arrow arrow is the start state so i put arrow here start state as what q0 and q0 on 0 goes to what q0 q0 on 0 goes to q0 q0 on 1 goes to what q1 okay q1 on 0 goes to what q1 itself q1 on 1 goes to what q1 and also what q0 look at this here non-determinism comes because in the state q1 with input symbol 1 it can either loop here or also it can go to what q0 so that is meant by non-deterministic finite automata so to draw equivalent dfa first look the power set of the q0 and q1 what do you meant by power set because this set has only two elements q0 or q1 so power set it will become 2 raised to 2 that become four elements what will be the four element first one will be the null set second one will be the set 0 third one will be the set 1 fourth one will be the set q0 comma q1 okay so four symbols because two states are the so power set it will get what four states it will get phi q0 q1 and q0 q1 so in your transition table uh, four states can be drawn that is the method uh, in the test uh, textbooks uh, what they are following what you are following all in all general text uh, for every power set they will draw the transition table but i am saying a simple method look at the transition table of the nfa so in nfa you look the start state as q0 so start from the q0 set okay you can avoid what phi whatever state is in the transition diagram or whatever state have the input the add state is need only to be mentioned don't need to mention every state because if the state is 2 raised to 4 that is 16 you must draw 16 state that is not practically possible if it goes to 2 raised to 5 there it will become 32 states so the state will be increasing so if when we consider 32 state 32 state does not have transition some states will have only transition so consider that states only this is a good method in textbook they are following every state but uh, you follow this method then it will be very easy to you okay so uh, i am starting with state q0 so you look don't look into the transition table it will be confusing look into your transition diagram of nfa so state q0 look into the nfa q0 on 0 goes to what q0 okay q0 itself q0 on 1 goes to what set q1 why we are using set because in dfa we can have only one state one symbol one transition isn't it so next one what will be the here look at here you can look at here or you look at here but i have said lo when looking into here you can have more state in your transition table so look at here q0 is also all 
already marked here isn't it so q0 is being visited so next we have to visit what q1 so set q1 you mark here once again i will say first start with the starting straight in the nfa that is set q0 and draw the transition for the input symbols for q0 uh, you will get two input symbols that is in every dfa two input symbols 0 and 1 and go for the transition for that in that transition look what all state has been visited here this has all already be visited so you don't need to consider you have to consider only what one if this is not being visited take the first transition first that is the first rule i have to say if this is not being visited you must not take this first this must be taked what first okay okay so q1 in q1 what will become in q1 to 0 what goes to it goes to q1 itself isn't it but q1 on 1 goes to what q0 and also q1 so you can't write here q1 you must write what symbol set q0 comma what q1 okay this point at this point you may understand what is the difference between the nfa and dfa which we are drawing so that said that as a single state we are considering q0 and q1 but here we are we are considered it as two state okay so q1 on 0 goes to q1 q1 on 1 goes to what q0 q1 so this has already been visited so next we have to visit what this has to be visited so q0 comma q1 q0 comma q1 take this as a whole q0 comma q1 on zeros goes to what on zero goes to q0 on zero goes to q0 q1 on zero goes to what q1 so here we have to rate what q0 comma q1 once again i will say q0 comma q1 so you must take q0 and also you must take q1 so q0 on zero goes to itself q1 on zero goes to itself so state will be q0 comma q1 on next word we take q0 q1 on 1 goes to what q0 on 1 goes to q1 q1 on 1 goes to what q1 and also q0 so the state will be q0 comma q1 you can write q1 comma q0 both are right but better write lower uh, lower suffix first and then write the higher suffix okay so look at here q0 comma q1 has been visited q0 comma q1 has been visited so the dfa ends here so once again i will say you must take the power set and start from the starting state of the nfa and check for the every input symbol and check in the input symbol table or in that column you check whether it has been visited if not visited come expand it in the next row and you must continue until there is no symbol to be expanded in your transition table likewise we have end here okay so to show the difference i will draw the transition diagram of the both uh, this so here it is set q0 this is one state next one set q1 is the other state next state is what q0 comma q1 okay then you will get the difference so q0 on 0 goes to what q0 itself q q0 on 1 goes to what q1 and q1 on 0 goes to what q0 it's sorry q1 on 0 goes to what q1 itself and q1 on 1 goes to what q0 q1 and q0 comma q1 on 0 it's loops what up to here and q0 on 1 q0 q1 on 1 goes to what itself so up to here so we have marked every symbols q0 0 q0 q0 1 it goes to q1 q1 on 0 goes to itself q1 on 1 goes to q0 q1 and 
here it is being looked look at both the fa this is deterministic because every state has only in every state one symbol has only one transition look at here zero one transition one one transition here zero one transition one one transition and here zero and one one transition but look at here here one has two transition isn't it okay so that is the this is the nfa and this is the what equivalent dfa we are building okay that's about this this is the first example we can uh, i will show one more example so it will be uh, thorough to you thank you thank you for everyone